Hi everyone, this is Engineering with Brian. I'm Brian, and today I'll be showing you how to make a truncated icosahedron, which is another way of saying the shape of a soccer ball. So really, the 3D shape is just made out of a ton of hexagons and pentagons. So let's begin. I'm going to start by sketching on the top plane. And I'm going to make a, let's do a pentagon. Um, here we go. Make sure that it has five sides. And then I'm going to have this point be located on the right plane. And then I'm going to make sure that the dimension of one of the sides will be 25 millimeters. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and extrude this symmetrically one meter, one millimeter. And I'm going to go ahead and sketch on one of the sides of this pentagon. So I'm going to make sure that it's aligned and I click on the midpoints. Like so confirm that and I'm going to make a plane and this will be a lining. And going on to Wikipedia and doing some research, I found that the dihedral angle from the pentagon to a hexagon is 142.62 degrees. There we go. Something like that. And on this plane, although the plane looks a bit awkward, I'm going to draw a hexagon. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some unnecessary planes. I want to just draw, go ahead and draw a hexagon like so. And then I'll make sure that the number of sides is six. And then I can go ahead and make sure that its points are on the sides like so and as you can see the sides of this hexagon are in fact 25 millimeters and then I'm gonna go ahead and extrude this by one millimeter and then what I can do is I can use a circular pattern so I don't have to keep drawing. So if I click sketch, I'll sketch on the front plane. Yes, the front plane. And I'll just draw a random vertical line. There you go. And then now I can use the circular pattern. Make sure that it's a feature pattern. Click on the extrusion. Click on the line, make sure, making sure that I'm doing it five times and applying it per instance. If I click, click confirm, you can see that my soccer ball truncated icosahedron is starting to appear. So now I'm just going to quickly and continue to make this by creating some more planes and adding more shapes to it. So what I can do now is start creating some three point planes. So if I click plane right here, click three point plane, I can click the midpoint of this point, this side, and even uh, maybe where they connect. Actually, I think a better idea is to draw a line. 
at the midpoint to the other side. Click confirm, and now I can create a more accurate three point plane. So this point, this point, and this midpoint. Making sure that it's a three point plane. And there I go. And then I can click sketch and draw a pentagon. So So definitely after you've made an well after you've gone through most of this process of making the shape, you'll be better able to kind of know what what shape, whether it is a hexagon or a pentagon, comes next. And then right here, I can use the circular pattern, feature pattern to Continue the shape of my soccer ball. And then I'm going to make some hexagons. So right here, I'm going to create another three-point plane. Do one right here. One right here. See if I can make sure that... I'm gonna have to make another line. The midpoint. Like so, create another three point plane. This point, this point, and this point. Let's go. And then I'm going to draw a hexagon like so, making sure that there are no constraints on hexagon until I start adding these coincident constraints. I'm actually going to make sure that this point is connected to that point, and this point connected to this point. There we go. Then I'm going to extrude the shape by one millimeter symmetrically. And then again, using the circular pattern, making it a feature pattern of extrusion, revolving it, um, making a circular pattern of it, not revolving it, for instance, and there we go. And I'm just gonna keep doing this. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. I guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away. You fade away. Yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay? Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace. I never really asked to be brought into this place. You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste. All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same. I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain. If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay. Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today. I promise that I'm there. Fell this way. I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain. I know you told your friends. 
when you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away And there we go, we have a truncated icosahedron. If you wanted to, you could probably fillet some of these sides, like so. Although, I'm not sure if it would change much. But I'm going to go ahead and click on every single one of these sides. There we go. And create this shape. Like so. All right, thanks for watching. If you learned something, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.